for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Forrest the And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Oh, nice right hand, John. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, perhaps 
that's a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Left hand punch to the foot. Nice punch by Griffin. Right punches there. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Griffin gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh. Nice counter left hook. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Single collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, huge block! Big kick. They continue to exchange. That was a thudding leg kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Right on the button. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big kick lands. Griffin's kick locked. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, nice right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. And a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice jab up top by Griffin. Final seconds of round one. What a body kick. Stop. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Excellent job that round. Seems to be late. Round two is upon us. Your Red thoughts fight. on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Good punch. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. 
So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big body kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the points. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice shot to the body. Nice hook lands. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Griffin gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. What a kick by this young man. He does a great oh, Nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Three minutes to go in the round. And both guys really flowing with authority. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Hook, hook. Unable to connect with the right hand there. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, connects with the one-two. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice body. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Nice right there. Nice head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Flush right hand is true. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Seconds left. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ten seconds to go in the round. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Ten minutes in the books. Close. And 
All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee gets the takedown. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend. But you should see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Griffin gets caught with that punch. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Liver kick. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Griffin's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Look at the angle of that nice body. And mixing it up beautifully. There with the head kick. Three minutes remain in the round. And he landed the right hand there. I'm well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Throws the right hand there. Oh, big punch land. Let's go. I need you to be first. Man. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big shots being landed on both sides here. It's such a fast leg kick. Just missed with the left there. into these big leg kicks. Shoot, big kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice punch there by Griffin. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Not there. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Came on inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, 
Nice uppercut by the champion. Big kick lands. 15 seconds. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, just misses with the kick. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to an extra 10 minutes. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice kick. Just misses with the jab. Leg kick. Right idea, poor execution. The counter right, no good. Big punch lands. Boom. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. And they separate. You can't take many of those. You better check. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice punch land. Takedown defense holds up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over three minutes to go. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. How about that shin? Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice move to punch. Big leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. Let your hands go. Let the hands very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The knife. Oh, he's hurt bad. 
He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the turtle in that kick. 20 seconds left. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Final seconds of round four. Griffin gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. One round and turn it around. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets into it. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. What a tricky head. Nice punch by Griffin. Just misses there with the left. Griffin gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. A swing and a miss by Lee. All right, relax and breathe. And let's use our footwork to set a big head kick land. Strong defense there to block the shot. Lands with the right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. You got to check low leg kicks. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Liver kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice leg to land. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. You either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. He keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Back and forth we go. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Right hand upstairs. Nice 
punch to the head. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Straight punch land. Big head kick. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely good. They both fought very hard. But after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys. And in the second round, you saw the other guy, good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's going to be a question of will and determination. And that's going to be who wins the fight. Good head movement there. Nice slip. Big kick lands. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Nice strike to the midsection glances. Oh All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. So heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so...